Risk to both you and baby depends on two things. One, how toxic or poisonous the pesticide is, and two, how much pesticide you're exposed to during and after pregnancy. With that in mind, there are some steps you can take to help lower your risk before and after a pesticide is used. Consider a multi-step approach to control pests in the most effective, least hazardous ways possible. This type of plan uses the pest habits, life cycle, and needs to work against it, which may decrease the amount of pesticide actually needed. You might also think about choosing a product that's low in toxicity to people, but still effective against your pest. To help you control the exposure side of things, have a plan in place before a treatment even begins. If you have to do the application yourself, make sure you read, understand, and follow all label directions. Ask for help if something's not clear. When mixing or using the pesticide, you can protect yourself by wearing long sleeves, pants, gloves, and or a mask depending on the product. If you have the option, consider leaving while someone else does the application for you. Have them check the area for anything unusual before you come back. Either way, after pesticides are used, think about leaving while wet areas dry, dust settle, and the room airs out. If treatment happened near the food prep area, consider washing those surfaces. You might also lay down a blanket, play mat, or towel as a barrier between your baby and treated furniture or floors. On another note, be sure that any flea or tick products used on your pets have dried before either of you touch or snuggle with them. And lastly, if you've touched treated items, it's always a good idea to wash your hands before caring for infants or eating.